like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl in your face when you're sleeping. Rivers are no less thrilling than our oceans. Sometimes they carry even more peculiar, horrifying, and shaky creatures hiding underneath their surfaces, which are waiting for us out there to find out about them. Half Shark These two fishermen were out fishing when a huge shark was caught in their fishing hook, and things took a weird turn when they pulled it out. Because their fish was not just huge, but it was cut in half. It felt like the shark was bitten by something huge. But what could be bigger than a shark? Of course, another shark in the ocean. Marine experts have claimed that the only thing that could reasonably eat a shark is another shark. Giant Goonch A group of fishermen caught a huge catfish, a species of monster-sized catfish which could be often found in the rivers among the mountainous regions of India and Nepal. Found in the year 2016, the catfish weighed almost 150 pounds and was six feet tall. The catfish had a camouflaging skin, which made it almost impossible for the snorkelers to spot it in the rocky water. Though they are not dangerous for the humans, there are many legends in the adjacent villages that these fish have developed a taste for the humans. Oarfish it's a big day for these men, as they have caught probably one of the world's longest oarfish. In May 2018, a group of fishermen successfully caught an oarfish. It was 3.2 meters long and was heavy enough for them to hold it together. And not just that, the oarfish was one of the first ones ever caught in the Vietnam, because it's hard to catch them as they usually live in considerable depth of the water. Faceless Fish this weird fish was caught by marine researchers in the year 2017, which was considered to be a whole new species because of its weird face. It was not quite a face, as the fish had only two eyes on it. Its mouth was a little under the bottom of its head. When the researchers examined the body, they found out that the fish was a native to five kilometers deep waters, and how it survives there in extreme scarcity of food is miraculous. Croc Flood This man has to be the bravest one alive as it passes over hundreds of crocs. By hundreds, I literally mean hundreds of them resting on a river along the fields. It was captured in Indonesia in the year 2020, where the population of crocs is growing at a record rate. And the fact that these resting crocs are making way for the motorboat makes it more incredible to watch. Japanese Salamander Two students were walking to their school near the bank of a river when they came across something extremely bizarre. Its hands and feet looked like a lizard, but the giant body was telling a different story. It was actually the giant Japanese salamander, commonly found in the country's mountainous regions. But the one found by the boys was not the ordinary salamander, as it weighed more than 4 kilograms and was 1.2 meters tall. River Monster Present since the time of dinosaurs, sturgeon is probably the oldest fish alive on our planet. Caught in the river of British Columbia, it shocked the fishermen when they found out that it was not just the member of the oldest species, but the fish weighed almost 600 pounds and was 10 feet tall, which made it the largest one alive, too. The fish was probably 100 years old, and the fact that there had been no tags on it made it clear that the fish was never discovered by any other angular. Stingray giving birth Not a fisherman this time, a kid caught a stingray near the bank of the river, and he was surprised to find out that the ray was pregnant. But there were more surprises to come, because when the boy tried to show the inner layer of the stingray by grabbing it, she started giving birth while sitting on the kid's lap. And not just one or two babies, Mama Ray gave birth to 12 perfectly healthy babies while the kid helped her during the process. Arapaima These fishermen belonging to Carilla hit the jackpot when they caught a huge Arapaima fish in their fishing net. These fish are quite expensive in the fishing world because they are an excellent food fish and are considered to be the protein providers among the Amazon natives as their meat can be stored without rotting for so many days. 
It's also known as paracucu in Brazil, which is translated as red fish. And other than their meat, arapimas are also famous for their highly mineralized scales, which are used to make jewelry by the people. Sheep's head. When a man uploaded a video of a bizarre looking fish sneaking from the water, it instantly went viral with people confused to find out what it was. Well, it was no doubt a sheep's head fish mostly found in North American water. It had big white teeth and was given the name of a sheep's head because of its face resembling the muzzle of a sheep. They live along the coastline, mostly around pilings, piers, and ridges. Therefore, people often spot them there. Sailfish. After spending almost half the day in the ocean to catch a big fish, these fishermen finally succeeded when they catch a large sailfish swimming right across their boat. It's four feet tall and weighs more than 70 kilograms. Sailfish are so rare to find because of their large size, lightning speed, and the nature of fight. They are surface water fish, but don't underestimate them as sailfish can take a dive of more than 1,100 feet deep in the water to find a prey. Giant Eel Marbled skin is what makes it easy to distinguish the eel from many others. It was caught by a group of river researchers in the year 2015 in the adjacent rivers of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. It was 1.2 meters tall and weighed almost 15 kilograms, even though the marbled eel is a carnivore as it eats shrimps, crabs, and bony fish. It poses no danger to humans. Exploded Mouthfish This is a coronation trout, commonly known as coral trout a member of the grouper family and considered an extremely rare fish because of its incredible coloration and camouflaging sculera. But the thing which surprised the man was its stomach, which was coming out of its mouth. It was basically a sign of barotrauma in which the swim bladder of the fish, which lives more than 50 feet under, would be damaged due to the expansion of gases. Therefore, the stomach would come out from the mouth showing the signs of trauma which would eventually affect the swimming capability of such fish. And in some cases, the barotrauma won't let a fish go back to its original depth. Bull shark. A bull shark, and that too on a river. Well, it may sound surprising, though salted water is necessary for the sharks to survive, otherwise their bodies may explode. Bull sharks have special stoption that allows them to live in fresh water. And for the salt intake, their kidneys recycle the salt within their bodies. And the special glands present along their tails also helps them in salt retention. So staying in the river is not really a problem for bull sharks. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. This incredible fish was captured in the year 2017 in Indonesia. After spending almost two hours in the river fighting with the stingray, which was resistant to come out and show itself in the camera, an American researcher, along with a native fisherman, was successful in taking the huge ray out of the water, which turned out to be a shocking discovery because of its giant body. It was literally a giant ray, which was 2.2 meters wide and weighed up to 560 pounds. Mud fishing. Mud fishing is a technique used by the Indonesians. What happens is that during the dry season, the fish take refuge in the soaky mud to protect them from heat so that they can survive. But as they take relief from one danger, another one is waiting for them on land, which are the fishermen because mud fishing is an effortless technique for them. Rock climbing goby. Gravity is of no use in front of these fish as they can literally walk against it. The climbing gobies spawn in the fresh river waters, but during their larval stage, they slowly drift down to the seawater where they feed on the microscopic plants. Once that stage has passed, these fish have to come back to the Rocky Mountains. Until that time, they have developed suckers on the surface, which helps them to counteract to the tumbling water and maintain their steady walk. See you next time.